Hello and welcome back to Skyblock. And today on Skyblock, I'm gonna. I just one shot at that baby zombie. I'm gonna give me a potato. Um, today on Skyblock, we are gonna be building our slime farm. And so this is gonna be a fairly big build, and I've already already built downwards to get down to our Skyblock, all the way. Uh, down there. That is as low as we can go on our skyblock. So let's head on down there. We're gonna take the fast travel way. Um, and... we Ha ha ha! Sploosh! Um, yeah, that is... That, that always cracks me up. I, that, I get a little chuckle every time I do that. So I've done a bit of exploring down here, trying to find a slime chunk. And not every chunk is a slime chunk. Um... So I did a bit of explore, and I basically, I just waited for slimes to appear. And I've also started work on expanding the old cactus farm over here. And as you can see, look, look, there's one right there. Uh, so I've identified a slime chunk over there. He just j jumped off. They seem to like jumping off. Bye, slime! I've identified a slime chunk over here, and that's in the rain area. I'm going to have to roof this but yeah so this here and i'm gonna bring up the coordinates as such this here is our slime chunk so it's, or at least it's the corner of it so if i go here the chunks reset and if i go into here this is our slime chunk so i'm gonna build out this into a square uh this bottom one i'm gonna probably build up about three or four high and round the edges i'm gonna start work on a water trench Okay, I've, I've built out my little slime block a little bit. This is the one edge here, and it's going to extend all the way over to there and back again. And it looks, I'm about four blocks above uh, above bedrock. So you could build this in a survival world. It looks a little bit weird in a, um, in a sky block environment. The idea is, is that uh, there'll be a killing floor up here, like this. And... The slimes will generate up here and will eventually fall off into here. And so if I plonk a little bit of water down here like this, it should go all the way to the edge. Let's make life a little bit difficult. Yeah, there we go. So that'll go all the way to the edge. Our little slimes are going to be pushed out, in which point they will, they're going to meet an untimely end or a timely death all the way over here. So, we're going to need a, a killing, a killing mechanism, and this time we're going to go with cactuses. I'll dump down some cactuses here. And they are going to, whoa, yeah, got to watch out for that. Those cactuses are going to be sort of a, yeah, just a ziggy zaggy shape, because they can't be right next to each other. They can't be next to another block, so I can't place one there, but I can put one there. Ow, 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 I've already fallen for my own trap. Good plan, good plan. Let's put in a temporary wall here. Okay. Right. Put in there. So our little cactuses will go here and they will flow. Water will flow into here and in which case the slimes will die. Now we need to create a little collection facility. Little collection facility. And I'm going to be using hoppers. You would have seen in my in my tool tray. Tool tray? Toolbar. It's a little toolbar, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that we're going to be using some cactuses, so I'm going to plonk these out. I, I can't, you can't really go much uh, further down than this, and the reason for that being is that uh, sand is a gravity block, and that's block zero, which I'm just placing on now, so I can't go any lower than that, and for the water needs to be one more block above that, and then I need the spawning floor above the water block. So let's get, um, we need a collection chest somewhere. I did want to put the collection chest on this side, so let's, let's build it over here. Did I bring a chest? No, I didn't bring a chest. It's always something. I thought I had everything, but I don't actually have everything. Let's, let's go grab that chest. I've been working on a little bit of the cactus farm in between collecting materials, because I am going to need, uh, a heap of hoppers. There we go, there's some chests. A heap of hoppers, and... That's that's going to take some time, so there will be some little, quite big gaps in the building of this. Quite big gaps. I kind of get the feeling I need to put a safety net around the outside, otherwise death will ensue. Okay. 
Ah, uh, reach over to there. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Okay. So if we put our little, this is just a test system, test of our little capture mechanism. Uh, that didn't work. Shift, right click, and got them all the way. How many have I got? Thirteen. Thirteen. What happened there? That was a bit of a goofy build. Boom, 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 boom. That's gonna probably take me a little while to get this worked out properly. The exact dimensions as such, but yeah, we'll get, I'll, I'll get there. I won't do it all on camera now. Um, I have thought about doing these as live, maybe doing a live stream uh, between builds and just cutting out selective chunks. So if that sounds like something you, yeah, just, just leave me a comment and say if, if that's something you'd like me to do. Uh, another thing I'd like people to do is suggest, I can't build that, that suggest uh, resource texture packs. So if you suggest a resource texture pack in the comments and I'll come back and I'll probably see that because I don't get very many comments. Um, and I will uh, I will build, I, I will, I will uh, do the next sessions, do future sessions in those texture packs as suggested by, by you guys. Which I actually think that'd be quite cool. Uh, I like to know what kind of texture packs people build in. And can we build all the way out here to here? I think we can. I do want to put that that bit of cobble under there, just in case any time in the future I want to move all the cobble about. There we go. Okay. So this is a basic killing, my basic, very basic killing mechanism. Very basic killing mechanism. So the slime should flow into that little area there. Well, let's get this set up and see if we can get a few few to um, jump right in there. Quick way to see if all this is linked together is just to bash all these out. Oh, slimes. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Yep, that fills up. It's all connected. It's nothing worse than going along and finding a section that isn't connected. Okay. Finding a, finding a big section connected. It does tend to... Pump out quite a few slimes, this. The old fill in all the blocks. You get the idea of this overhang in a minute, because we really want to maximize the entire killing area. The killing floor. And I'm going to need to torch it up. I'm going to use some pumpkins to torch the area up, but I'll fill that in later when we, we when I build the, the upper floors as such. Okay. Very simple, straightforward. This rain's getting me down. It's always raining. Apparently it's affected by sleep. That or it's a complete myth. Go. This is our spawn chunk I'm in right now. Gonna, gonna, um, yeah, this is so... That way, I don't have to build a massive overhang. I don't have to build a massive uh, trench for them to swim out to. That's actually quite a small trench. In fact, I could probably make that. Uh, one smaller, but I did want to make them large enough so those big, the big, big daddy slimes fall down and die. Okay. Did I leave myself enough room to get out of here? Obviously, I've got to put in uh, torches because I don't want any of the other mobs to spawn. I already have a general mob spawner. Okay. That that looks about right. Um, from a build perspective, I need to build the rest and I need to build the whole chunk around it. Let's Let's see if we can get a few to spawn. And just back off the area just a little bit. See if we can get a few to spawn. Oh, there's a big one. He's got into it. He's fallen into the slime block. Um, yeah, <laughs> the slime has fallen into into the cactus. He's got him. Now he oh he can jump over, and that's probably my fault that the slimes, uh, the cactuses haven't grown large enough yet. They will grow bigger. Uh, maybe maybe I can buff those up. Can I buff those up just a little bit higher? Yes, I can. You can. They. That's that's not a design flaw. The the blocks. The, the cacti will grow larger. Trust me. Trust me. Come on. They will grow higher. There we go. But three three is ideal to keep them contained. Okay, get those in. Uh, I'm risking risking death. Head back. Head back. Okay. Oh, here comes another hest. Happy customer. In he goes, he's getting milled up, and yeah, milled into slime, how about that, that's fantastic. 
I also managed to capture a skeleton, but yeah, so um, that's proof of concept. I'm gonna going to explode. Uh, explode? I'm going to going to explode. No, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. It's a little bit small, eh, smaller, and oops. <laughs> One thing I've learned is that to keep the really, really big slimes in, these do need to be three high, and they will grow naturally by themselves, but to get that early amount of, get in the early amount, you know, caption while they're spawning in, kind of helps just to build them a little bit higher, and it kind of helps to have a really massive cactus farm right next door. Look at that. I'm going to build that one to the roof. But that's cactus, uh, slime farm for now. Slime farm. Yeah, slime farm. Okay, so I finally finished the base of the slime farm, and it is working really, really well. I'm quite happy how how it's worked out. It's taken about 130, about 130 uh, hoppers in the background, and about uh, about 80 or 100 cactuses sand combinations. And look at that! That is filling up quite quite nicely. And that's only at, at one level. Oop, oh, watch out for cactuses! I did get pricked a few times while. Well, building it so i'm i'm really happy with the the base i think that's fairly efficient possibly a couple of tweaks i could make there but you know what let's build it and 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 move on so here it is up here wow it, it actually looks it's quite therapeutic to look at it's like a little little zen kind of slime killing garden as if you could call that zen um <laughs> yeah anyway so there's all our cactuses around the edge, and the little slimes, they just spawn and they fall off. Oops, that one out there's got out. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to build some sides on this, and maybe a couple more levels. And it's pretty much done. We've got those floors in, each floor being a lovely little spawning pad for all our slimes, all spawning in there. Uh, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Could probably fit another one on top of this, but you know what? That's enough. It's, this thing spawns. A lot of slimes. Got each pad illuminated with a bunch of bunch of pumpkins, and they're not too bad to place. But it does mean each time you go up a floor, you actually have to build a tiny little pillar beneath each pumpkin because you can't place a pumpkin on the side. I mean, do I have any left? No, I don't have any down here. But you can't place a pumpkin on the side. You can only place it on a gra on the ground. So you end up building a few little pillars. Round the outside I've got this big glass cage and that's sort of to help the slimes fall in, stop them from escaping. Sometimes I notice when they fall, they will fall past the barrier or they'll fall far enough that they can actually almost jump through these. And I still have a couple of little escapees. A couple of little escapees right now. Gosh, I can hear them shlopping away in there. Uh, so I've decided to put this glass wall around the outside. Why glass? Well, it actually could be any any block you want. You could put iron bars. You could put even just normal, normal, normal blocks as such. So I'm not. I'm going to finish doing that up later, and we'll we'll return to the the fully complete slime farm later on in a in a world tour. But boy, look at this thing! It 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 has taken a wee while to build, and I've actually cleared out this slime chest twice already while building it and you can see ah, oh yep sometimes they escape <laughs> eventually i probably will close this up somehow I'll, maybe i'll put a little glass bar in there to stop them from escaping I could probably probably do that now can i yep okay that will stop them from escaping as such but yeah those the slime they filled up for quite a long 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 way hello there friend ow not friend. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much this massive build done, and it's taken me probably about a... I've built it over a couple of weeks. I'm going to clear these out. Um, and the reason for all the slime? Well, in one aspect, in Skyblock, they're worth some money. Money! They're worth some money, but they're also worth some challenge. So let's finish that one off. Click 40 slime balls, and I'll get five, five ingots and five blocks of iron. That leaves me pretty decked out in terms of stuff. I, uh, and I get eight redstone dust as a continuing reward. Yeah. So we've pretty much got redstone uh, sorted quite significantly. So I'm going to leave it there. Is there any floating around? I've got my redstone sorted. And yeah, thank you for watching. Next week we are going to tackle the what are we going to tackle we're going to tackle a sugar farm because i want more sand 
more sand. I had to wait for all the sand to spawn, and it was very annoying. So, sugar farm next week. All right, catch you later.